Hi guys! So I have a review for you today from BornPrettyStore.com. They were kind enough again to send me some more products for review and um, I thought I would do the review today since I'm moving. Um, you know, they told me don't worry about it, get it up when you can, but you know, they're nice enough to send me the product so I like to get the review up as soon as possible. Again guys, check the description bar, um, the description bar for um, the website and then also there's a 10% off discount code so you can order stuff from there. Get a 10% off of your order. Um, they are already um, reasonably priced prices anyways. Um, and so but you know having a discount on top of that hey why not so anyways guys let me show you what they sent me this time a pack of these nail stripe or not nail stripe nail art brushes there's three to a pack they're just purple and um they're just like small tips that way you can you know do little designs on your nails and whatnot and I don't have any nail art brushes um I just got some from Michelle my friend mail and then now I have these so I can't wait to use these and that's what they look like okay and then they sent me these um butterfly rhinestones so they just look like that there's a whole bunch of them so let me open this so you can see it there's 12 colors in here so we got a blue and I'm going to turn these because that way you guys can see them because you can see the butterflies are stuck there. So we got a blue, and here's a purple, and then a gold, a silver, oops, baby, or a light green. We have an orange, and a purple, a black, a blue, um, dark green, pink, and, um, a lilac -y purple color. So there will be pictures in the end so you guys can see them a little bit better. And get into the review, let me tell you what I have on my nails. I used um, my Milani base coat because this is what I could grab. I packed all my nail polish and stuff up guys, so I just grabbed what I could. And then on my nails right now, I have the Sinful Color Polishes. This one's the Neon Pink in 24-7. <coughs> and this is a pretty sparkly blue color um, and this is Cinderella I also have over here um, this gold polish by sinful colors and this is called gilded a white polish and this is wet um, wet and wild French white I also have my top coat that I'm using today which is the gel extreme um, shine top coat I love this top coat it really makes your nail polishes last and then I have this black this is my salon express stamping black I'm not stamping today but um, this is just what I have on hand what I could find and this is just in bold black and these brushes work you know you can remove it with nail polish because or with nail remover because um, I don't have my paint so I guess we'll find out okay I just put some white on there really nice um, they're really little though like I mean that's great um, but they're really light um, and they come with these little guards on them which is nice and um, but I like the fact that they're light um, because if like say you know you went around and did people's nails or um, you know you need to carry them around whatever they're just nice and dainty and small and um, you know it's nothing bulky. When I do nail art, I don't like anything bulky. You know, this fits in the hand nicely. I feel like I could go ahead and just paint with it and write with it. It's small enough. Um, none of the brushes are shedding at all. I don't see any that are coming out. Um, they all look like they're pretty good tips. So, um, they're very soft as well. They feel pretty dense, which is nice. That way I can draw with things. So this one looks like it's the smallest one. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and draw like stripes on my pink nails. But I feel like this is nice because it's like a pen and a pencil. It fits right in your hand. Um, I mean, depending on your painting style. I like to hold them like this because I think it gives more stability when you're going to go ahead and, you know, draw or whatnot. Okay, awkward angle. I know. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and draw lines here.
they work pretty nicely. I just did two lines there, two nails with lines on them. It keeps all the nail polish in there. I'd like to try these out with acrylic paints. I think they work better with acrylic paints. Nail polishes are hard to work with when you're doing nail art. Um, acrylic paint is so much better. It's smoother. Um, you don't get bald spots, um, unevenness or anything like that like some of these nails are. So, I mean, I like this brush. It works really well. It, it glides nicely and stuff. But what I wanted to see if it was okay with nail polish remover as well. The Dollar Tree brand, it's just the regular nail polish remover. I'm not using any acetone in it. The nail polish remover didn't seem to ruin the brush. I probably could use acetone on it because it didn't quite get all the white out. You guys are not going to see that, I don't think. Well, right there you can see it. It didn't quite get all the white out of the brush. But to know that it didn't ruin it is great. Um, I dipped one of my nail polish brush or one of my art, nail art brushes once in acetone, and um, it kind of like uh, made it stiff, and I had to throw it away because it was ruined. This doesn't feel ruined, but like I said, it, it didn't come as clean as I'd like it to. But it's clean enough for right now. So I'm gonna try the other brushes here long one for striping to see if it works out a little bit better. This one seems to work better for striping. It's the longer one that's kind of like a striping brush. Um, I'll definitely have to go back over them because it's nail polish. It's not acrylic paint. It doesn't get a smooth application and definitely came cleaner than that other one. But anyways, I love these brushes. They work out nice. Um, it's a lot better than using a toothpick or using um, a striper brush because sometimes those striper brushes, the brushes on them are flimsy. They're not thin enough. They're too thick. Um, but these brushes work really well. I love them. Um, they gave me a nice design stripe design. So next, um, that's just stripes. You know, stripes are easy. So next I'm going to attempt to draw some flowers on the blue nail to see how well they work out that way. And I'll use the one I haven't used yet. It's pretty much the same, just a little bit thicker. I've never drawn flowers like this, so it could turn out bad, it could turn out good, I don't know. We'll just see how it turns out. This one, I notice, has a little bit of a hair sticking off there. Um, as you can see, it ends, and then there's like that little hair, so I'm not gonna use that um, because I don't want it to mess up my design. So it does have a little bit of a hair sticking out. definitely need acrylic paint with these. I think it would work better. Um, I'm struggling a little bit on to get um, the polish to work, but that's because it's not thin, it's thick. Um, acrylic paint just works so much better, but like I told you guys, I don't have any. So I got to do what I got to do with what I got. And like I said, I was going to wait till I moved, but I really just want to get this out and um, for a born pretty store since they're so kind to send me all this and let me review their products, which I'm absolutely loving so far. Um, I haven't got a bad product from them. Their products are really good quality. Again, guys, they ship from China. Um, I do believe they have free shipping um, for international people. If anybody is overseas and watching this, I don't know if it's free shipping for you guys, but I know here in the US, it is free shipping. And um, yeah, their, their products are reasonably priced. Um, they're good quality. So there's kind of like a little flower. I mean, it doesn't look like a flower. It's more like, like leaves, but whatever. I'm just testing out these brushes. Hey. So that's what that looks like. Um, again, they're very easy to use, these brushes. I really like them. Um, I know it doesn't look like a flower. Whatever, it's just a decoration. <laughs> call it a decoration, call it a flower, call it what you will. Um, but I really like these brushes. Um, like I said, I really want to see what they do with acrylic paints. I think they would work a lot better with acrylic paint. And um, so in Manny Monday, you're probably going to see these over and over again with acrylic paint. So you'll get to see them work a little bit better. But they're working great, actually. You know, they're working great. It's just the polish. But um, yeah, I like that. I think that's cute. I think the design came out well. And um, yeah, I'm going to add some dots here. Go ahead and get into the butterflies um, part of this review. So I figured I'd put a couple butterflies on these nails here. Um, I am going to darken that real quick and then I will be right back to put the butterflies on. Okay guys, and I did, um, while off camera, 
remove the nail polish with acetone and it didn't ruin it. It actually made it better. So you can use nail polish with this. Um, you can use these in nail polish, but um, I still suggest using them in acrylic paints because they work better. But it, that's nice that you, you know, you could put that in acetone, 100% pure acetone, and it won't ruin the brush. We'll go on to the review of the butterflies. So I figured I'd use um, black ones. The black ones because I think the pink and black would go good together. So I'm going to just get some out here. So I just used some purple and black ones. And this is just a wheel like normal rhinestones. So it does just twist. And you just twist it to the color you want. It twists nicely. Nothing is falling out. As you've seen um, before, it had them all static clinged to the top of that, which I know most uh, rhinestones do that. Um, but none of these fell out, which is great because I know some ladies, when they order online from different places, the stuff falls out of the rind out of the wheel. This didn't. It's all staying in there. I can shake it. Nothing's coming out. So this is a really good wheel. Um, you know, nothing spilled or anything like that, which is great to know. Because, <laughs> like I said, sometimes um, you know they 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 uh, spill out. So I'm going to take my top coat here. I'm just going to stick them on with top coat. Um, you can use nail glue, but I don't know where any of mine are at. And I'm just going to top the whole nail here. So that way I can stick them wherever I want. And they're super little, guys. These are tiny. Look at that. So they're perfect for natural nails. And wherever size, length nails you have, you know, they'll fit. So I'm just going to put some on there. I think that looks so cute like that. I'm going to actually use my dotting tool now that I have one. So they're really easy to apply. Like I said, they are very small. Um, but that is so great. I think it's great because I don't do acrylic nails. I just do my natural nails. Well, sometimes I do the little fake nails that you um that you could buy at the store, you know. But I don't do my own nails. I, you know, just natural nails right now and um So these are perfect size for natural nails. That is so adorable. I love these. They pick up nicely with the dotting tool. I'm just going to leave one on that. Um, they pick up nicely uh, with the dotting tool. Uh, like I said, they're very small, so they fit well on your nail. Um, I mean, you could even fit two on the pinky, but I think it looks cute, which is one. And, you know, these are adorable. Uh, I absolutely love them. So that's what they look like up close. That's the matte black, and that's the little shimmery purple. And see how small they are, guys? These are itty-bitty. But they're nice quality look. They look like butterflies. You know, that black one's a little bit different than the purple one. Um, the purple one is upside down, but, uh, you know, it's a little bit different. But they're good quality, you know. They look amazing. Um, they are little. So they're perfect for natural nails. They're so cute. They fit well. They stuck well. I'm going to put a top coat over them, and let's see if they... Um, if they lose their shine. The rhinestones that I got at the Dollar Tree lost their shine, if you remember when I put the top coat on. The black one's not what I'm worried about because the black one is just a matte. It's the purple one. So let me go ahead and dab some top coat and see what happens. It still looks like a butterfly. Okay? You can still see the shape, but it lost its dimension. And I'll zoom up so you can see. If you see here, this one has little dimension to it. Um, you know, there's grooves and ridges and whatnot into it. As soon as I put the top coat on, it lost that. It's still there. It still looks good. But in my opinion, I like it better without the top coat on it. Okay guys, so I absolutely love the nail brushes and I absolutely love the rhinestones. I think they are amazing. The nail brushes work well. You can do great nail art with them. I mean, the possibilities are endless now um, because when you use a toothpick or a bobby pin 
or nail striper brush, you just don't have the control as you do with a normal brush. Um, again, if you use them with acrylic paint, they work a lot better. If you do have to use them with nail polish, clean them with acetone. Don't even worry about them. They're not going to get hurt or anything like that. They clean up well in acetone. This is not hard. It's still the same softness as it was before when I started. Um, the only thing I worry about with acetone, if you use them, that it's going to wear your brush down a lot quicker than it is if you just use acrylic paint and clean it with water. So I definitely will use those with acrylic paint. I mean, I prefer acrylic paint anyways. That's just uh, what I prefer to use rather than nail polish. It just comes out smoother and it just works a whole lot better. I highly recommend both of these products and if you missed my last Born Pretty Store review I will link that down in the description bar so you can check that out because I loved those products too and highly recommend them. Um, you know if you have any questions please ask them and thanks again Born Pretty Store for sending me these products for review. I absolutely love them and can't wait to review more products in the future. I'm out of here and if you have any questions please ask them and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. took yours and you made it mine Never asked too much from me Except to know that you love me And I can say that I've been changed Cause I have